your chain. Check me out. Glutes of motherfucking steel, bruh. See that? Glutes of power, goddammit. I even got the calves. See? Where's your legs? Where's your glutes? Woo! Welcome back to another training video. It's been a long time, but here we go. And as you can see, the ultimate surprise is right before your eyes. I've had a home gym for the past two weeks now, and it's absolutely amazing. So the good news is that you can expect more training footage from me. And in fact, this is the first volume workout that I filmed in ages. Close to a year, I would say, if not longer. And of course, this particular session is only yoke, so there will be no presses, it's just a volume yoke workout. Yesterday I did some volume presses and some boxing, so my recovery is a bit taxed on that, so I'm just showing you the yoke part. So as you can see, I'm starting off with the rack pull above the knee, going back to my roots, man. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm straps because the nerve is beating up my hands real bad, so if I'm going to do volume work on rack pulls, got to be strapped up. Plus, I don't want muscular imbalances, bruh. And honestly, I really, really love this exercise. I truly believe that it is the best trap builder of all time. It's so feasible, no lower back pain. You feel the upper back, you feel the trap stretching. It's so, so good. And I can't say anything bad about it. All right, guys, now I got a belt on. Because I'm trying to hit my traps, not my core. And I got the straps too. So let's get this started. Woo! It's also perfect for recovery for when you're cutting, man. And recovery is everything if you're trying to preserve your muscle mass. So here's 615. I'm calling it 615. It might be higher. Uh, it's doubled light bands. And actually, I have band pegs now with this power rack. So the tension's even increased. There's more range of motion. So it's quite nice. Um, and this just goes to show you guys that you don't need to be doing 1,000 pounds to get big traps. Uh, this is a volume workout. And I'm doing five sets, man. Five sets, and the traps are just aching like crazy. Right now, my upper back and traps are feeling the soreness, feeling the pain. It's incredible. Last set, guys. My forearms are killing me. My traps are killing me. Let's get this done. And for this particular session, I'm doing touch and go, which is something brand new. I've never done this before, so it does distort the form a little bit. But I do find that it enhances the time of detention. There's no breaks whatsoever, like when you're doing dead stop. So you could feel your traps throughout the entire set. It also puts your position at the leverage, which they're being maximally stretched. And also, the bands provide an overspeed eccentric, right? So overspeed eccentric, crashing into the pins, right? And it really enhances that soreness, and you could really, really feel your traps working, man. So that's all I got to say about the rack pull above the knee. You've seen me use it a bunch of times, and there will be more good stuff coming soon with that. Like, expect some different variations, different band tensions. I'm going to get my yoke game so strong, you're going to see, guys. That's why this is a yoke workout. So now, here's uh, five sets of 15. It says four sets of 15 because on the last set, I decided to increase the weight. It's only 225, but it's important to know that... Everything is about 30 to 60 seconds rest. So very low rest intervals, and that's what really gets the burning going on. You're getting more out of less weight. I don't need to load up 500 pounds with this, man. My volume days have always been on the lighter side. I don't really go heavy on volume days. I just blast it with low rest intervals, medium, lightweight, and you could feel the muscles working, burning, and it's absolutely fantastic. So this is the snatch grip power shrug. Snatch grip hits the rear delts and the upper back quite nicely, and it prevents the bar from hitting your balls, which is always a nice benefit. Now, here's another volume session, right? We got five sets of 10 pull up with 30 second rest intervals. If you recall, a few weeks ago, I talked about 10 sets of 10. Well, I can't do that right now because uh, this is the middle of the workout. My upper back and traps are fatigued from the rack pulls, as well as the power shrugs. And I could have chosen a Yates roll, but I didn't want to. Instead, I wanted a basic movement, uh, like the strict bodyweight pull-up, which could be effective. Again, guys are ego lifting with this. They're not doing full range of motion. You can see with me, guys, uh, I got the scapular retraction going on. I'm contracting my back muscles, chin over the bar. Like, I'm going really, really high here. And I could feel every part of my back working without using heavy weights. And also, when you do the low rest intervals, you feel your biceps. So my biceps and forearms were cramping off in this moment. So this is a really good exercise. Fuck 
rest of 30 seconds. All right, so now we know we got to get a row in there. So here's the cable solution. Obviously, it's a power rack. I don't have a cable station, but that doesn't bother me whatsoever because I got bands, bruh. Bands give you the same benefits as cables, if not more. Because at least now I can adjust like literally every possible position. This is a seated cable row, bro, but it's with double bands. Whenever I need more weight, I just add another band. Simple as that, or I lengthen my body. It's really, really effective, and I can feel the muscles working like crazy, man. It provides the overspeed eccentrics, enhances your recovery. It's peak contraction. I love bands with a passion. And the seated cable row, I've always loved this variation, and now I could, I could do it at home, bro. I could do it at home. I'm just sitting on a bench, double bands, using the country crush for extra form development, and it's awesome. So there's your cable solution. I'm gonna make a tutorial on this soon, but you're gonna see there's a lot of things you can do with bands, my friends. So this is set number five. As you probably could tell from this workout, mostly everything is like five sets. Uh, I did five sets on the pull-up, five sets on the shrug, five sets on the rack pull, so the volume is quite high. If you do the math, guys, we're talking some serious, serious workload. And right now, like, dude, my upper back, my traps, my rear delts, everything is like fired up fired up without snapping my lower back my lower back feels fantastic because i'm not putting myself in bad positions just trying to get yoked homies so now here's uh the band face pull using the rope again you just all you gotta do is buy a carabiner and the cable attachments and you can get to work you don't need a cable machine bro this good this does the exact same thing i don't miss cables this is doubled many bands which is quite light but next time i'll do like doubled monsters and doubled lights and again, if you want more tension, you just step back. You step back, you add another band, you do non-doubled. I mean, there's so many things you could do, guys. And the best part of it, too, is that it prevents you from ego lifting. Because now you're no longer attached to a number. For me, it's okay, this is doubled mini bands. Surely, I can calculate the tension very easily. But uh, why should I? Let's refrain from ego lifting. And uh, over here, you see I got perfect time to tension. Working those rear delts. And you can see the upper traps as well. This is honestly my favorite uh, isolation exercise. Uh, if we're talking about rear delts, side delts, uh, even upper back to a certain extent, I, I love this so much. So try the band face pull. It's a fantastic movement, really. Now, for all the hippies saying, oh, we use straps. <laughs> well, I already got huge forms, but just in case, here's a hub lift, right? It's only 20 pounds there, but it is the end of the workout. And you can see my nice legs as well. Again, I'm lazy on my legs because I got huge legs. I got gorilla glutes. And that, like, literally, these black shorts, that's a big black ass. No joke. So it's going good, guys. And now uh, I decided to finish off this yoke workout with the neck. You can't do a yoke workout without not hitting your neck. Because I did my presses yesterday in the boxing, I mean, uh, I should just do the neck with this workout, I and mean, it really like finishes it, man. And in this workout, we blasted the yoke area. We hit the rear delts, the upper back, which also includes rear delts there, but we hit the lats, we hit the upper traps, we hit everything, man. Overloading to the maximum, getting some volume in there, that's what's up. And uh, this is the neck curl, right? You know, it's a classic, man. My neck did get weaker, because I haven't been training, but now that I got this home gym, bro, I'm gonna train the hell out of it. But that's all there really is to it, guys. I hope you enjoy this uh, full body. Well, not full body. This yoke workout. It's at home. And expect more training footage, more tutorials.